Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be rating my activewear collection for the gym. A lot of you will know that as well as fashion, I also love fitness. I live in a lot of activewear day to day, but this is specifically for the gym girlies. If you're wanting to get into the gym and you don't know where to start with the best activewear, or you're just looking for some new activewear and you don't really know which brand to start with, this is the video for you. I'm gonna be rating my top five brands in my activewear collection. And I don't know whether I'm gonna rate them one to five because I feel like that's gonna be very hard. So I'm probably gonna rate them out of 10 for each sort of brand based on the styles, based on the quality and the price. Some of these pieces have been in my collection for a good couple of years now. So I feel like that is proof that I just love these pieces. I know a lot of people say gym isn't a fashion show, but best believe I'm wearing my favourite gym fit to the gym because a good workout comes from a good gym fit. In the gym it's very easy to lean towards the pieces that might look the nicest off the hanger or on the website but do you know what I feel like function is a lot better in the gym. If you've got activewear that you can't really squat in, keeps riding up or things like that it's not the best activewear to wear to the gym. I've tried all these pieces out I know which ones work for me and which I can recommend to you out of all of them. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so we're gonna start off strong and we're gonna start with Hollister or you might know it as Jilly Hicks or Gilly Hicks. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but I love this brand so much. Now you might be thinking, hold on a minute, Lydia, like I wore Hollister when I was like, 15 and I know but I've said this so many times before and I'll say it again Hollister and Abercrombie are literally some of the best places for basics and for active wear for some reason the fit of them fits like no other brand so starting off with this white tank top so this is a square neck tank top I don't know if you can see there but you'll be able to see when I try it on better it's got like a racer back detail on it and it's also like a cropped three quarter length I find these tank tops are so flattering with a pair of shorts for the gym and it means you're more covered than just a sports bra as I know a lot of people don't like wearing just a sports bra to the gym I would probably say it's better for weight training rather than cardio the material of this is sort of like a scuba material which is quite different to a lot of the pieces that I've got today it's just one of those materials that is just really easy to wash as well and it comes out looking brand new I feel like you won't believe that I've had this for like two years and I have worn it quite a lot and obviously I've washed it quite a lot as well so yeah this is a really really good piece and I feel like we're starting off very strong my other favorite piece from Gilly Hicks is this black jacket I feel like it's called the recharge jacket and I think they still have it even though I did get it a couple of years ago now this jacket I feel like is a perfect tube for the Lululemon Align jackets. I will be sharing Lululemon later on in this video, but I do feel like this is a really good dupe. It's a very affordable dupe of it as well. And this again, I've washed so many times, I've worn it so many times, and it really has lasted me a long time. When I'm working out in just a sports bra, I do like to have a bit of a cover when I'm going to the gym and coming back from the gym. So this is usually what I pop on. So for the rating, the only thing that is holding me back from giving Gilly Hicks a nine or a 10 out of 10 is because at the same time I bought these, I did get some leggings from there and they did bobble a lot. And I know I'm raving about these pieces, but that is what happened to the leggings. But these pieces have really lasted me a long time and I would say are super good quality so I don't know if the leggings were just a faulty material or something but I do want this to be an honest review for you guys so yeah if I can recommend anything from Hollister and Gilly Hicks it is definitely their tops and their jackets for the gym if you follow me on Instagram you also know I absolutely love their loungewear stuff again it fits the best out of all the brands I've tried for active wear wise I'm gonna rate this an 8 out of 10 maybe an 8.5 I feel like it's a very strong start to the haul. The only reason it's losing a few points is because of the fact when I did buy these pieces, I did buy those leggings and they really didn't last me long at all. But I definitely am going to try more of their pieces in the future and I will keep you guys updated. Okay, so the next brand is Colourful Koala. So I don't know if you guys have heard of them before. I hadn't actually heard of them until a couple of months ago when they reached out to me. I thought I would include these in this review video because they're a super affordable 
affordable activewear brand. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen the collaboration that I did with them. But a lot of the pieces that I got from the brand were sort of pieces that I would definitely wear more out and about rather than in the gym or maybe more to like pilates but for this purpose of the video i have just included their sports bras because i have actually tested these out in the gym and i feel like i can give you a proper review of how i found them so one thing that i absolutely love about colorful koala is that they have really minimal branding on them the little logo is so small and i feel like it's very discreet which i really like about activewear i don't like anything massively branded i just feel like it kind of ruins the design of it and yeah I prefer things to be very plain and minimal. This is the Dream Look Sports Bra. I believe these retail at around £25-£30 which I feel like is very affordable for a sports bra. So these sports bras have a double strap feature here and they go into a crisscross design at the back. I really love these ones for upper body days and yeah I just think these are probably one of the most flattering sports bras I've got especially on your back. So the cups in these are lightly padded and there aren't any sort of removable pads that you can take out so I guess that is a bit of a downside if you like to wear them with no padding but it is just light padding and it's nothing like over the top or anything. Okay so if I was to rate these out of 10 I feel like I'd give these ones an 8.5 as well. It's, it's not great that I've given both of the first two an 8.5 but I would give these a 9 if they were a little bit Bit more supportive I think. They have some really pretty designs on their website and I feel like they're quite unique to other brands but yeah if you're wanting to try Colourful Koala out I do have a discount code which I believe is Lydia15 to get a 15% off their website. You guys can try it and let me know how you get on with it. Okay so next up are some leggings. Now, I feel like finding the perfect black legging is such a hard thing and I do feel like after trying so many different brands, I feel like these come out on top for me. These are the ultimate legging from Adenola. I'm 5 foot 8 and usually a UK size 8 and I have these in a size small tall. I've had these for probably going on three years now and they have really lasted me a long time. Like I said, I've tried so many black leggings and for me, these ones are the best. Unlike a lot of leggings, they don't have a seam down the front middle bit. When it has a seam down the front of the legging, I feel like that is when you get a camel toe. So if I was to purchase these again, which I definitely will be buying a new pair soon because I feel like these ones are getting a little bit, to be honest, they look really good for, to say I've had them like two, three years now. But I would just say that they're getting a little bit, not bobbly, but just a bit worn. So I'm probably gonna replace these. But I feel like this time I'm not gonna get the tall ones. If you're like five, eight to six foot, I feel like these will be perfect for you, the tall versions. Without a doubt, I will wear these probably three, four times a week. These are the OGs. Now I have to decide whether I'm rating the brand or rating the actual product because I have had some other pieces from Adenola that have kind of been a bit of a hit or miss. I've had a hoodie from there as well. Although that's not really for the gym, it'd be unfair if I didn't share my other thoughts on their other pieces as well. So for the hoodies, I know this is like a common thing with Adenola. I know that a lot of people on TikTok talk about it and their hoodies, they shrink in the wash. Literally, if you wash them on a delicate 30 wash, they do shrink. So that is the only downside to Adenola hoodies and sweatshirts. So if you're gonna buy one, I think the designs are so nice. And if you're gonna buy one, definitely size up one size or even two sizes because it will shrink. I don't know if they've changed their material now because this was a couple of years ago that I got one. But yeah, that is the only downside to Adenola. So overall, if I have to rate these leggings, they would be a solid nine. And I know you're thinking that's quite high, but honestly guys, I just feel like it's so hard to find the perfect black legging and these are really good. I definitely will be buying another pair of these and if you're after a new pair of black leggings you know which ones to go for. I should also say that I'll link all these pieces down in the description below so you guys can shop them and hopefully even though I've had a few of these pieces for a couple of years I'm sure there will be something similar in stock or even the actual piece will still be in stock. Okay so I feel like this is one that a lot of you will be most interested about. 
and it is Lululemon. So I was kindly gifted a gift card from Lululemon to buy a few new pieces and these are the pieces that I bought. So I got the Align tank top in the pink, in the black and the grey and I also got two pairs of the Align leggings. So I feel like this is a review of their Align range. First of all I'm going to talk about the tops and then get onto the leggings but the first thing that I will say about the tops is that these do fit a little bit different depending on the colour. So I was kind of in between sizes and the only thing about Lululemon is that it's based on sort of number sizes. It's not just small, medium, large. So I think it's US sizes and these are size four, which is a UK size eight. Now I was in between a UK size eight and a 10, which is usually what I'm in between a lot of the time. I feel like when it is number sizes, I'm always in between sizes, but when it's at like small, medium and large, I'm usually just a small. I do tend to go for active wear that is just small, medium and large because I find it a lot better. These tank tops, I'm going to say they are worth the hype. They are such a flattering fit and I would really recommend them to everybody. Now as we know Lululemon comes at a bit of a price. It's not the cheapest active wear on the market. I feel like these tops are about £50. When you put it into perspective to the other brands that does seem really expensive for active wear but I guess it depends how often you're going to wear it. I tend to wear these more outside the gym although I have been wearing them more on like upper body days because they do give you a bit of extra coverage with them being like three quarter tank tops. I would say out of all of them the pink one is definitely my favourite. So for those of you who don't know the Align tanks they have like a bit of a v-neck at the front and then the back is just a little scoop neck and again the branding is super minimal which is exactly what I like. I just think this colour is honestly beautiful. Like it's probably my favourite active wear top in my collection right now and it goes so nice with grey and black. Okay so onto the leggings. These are the 28 inch Align leggings. You can get them in 25 and 28 inches. Now the only thing I have really to say about these is that these leggings have a front seam that I was talking about for the Azanola ones. Now when I wear these, and you might see in the clips, they do fit a little bit different to the Azanola ones. I feel like they're not as high waisted and also it's hard not to get a camel toe when there is a seam running down the front of the leggings. Apart from that, I feel like the quality of them is really good. But then again, it's probably what you expect it to be for the price that you are paying. I believe the these are about 80 to 90 pounds actually per legging, which is definitely on the more pricier side of a lot of my active wear. I want to give you a really useful, honest review. And yeah, I would say if you're gonna shop at Lululemon, I would definitely recommend the tops. And I did try on the jackets as well in the store. And honestly, the jacket fit so good. Like the defined jackets, they're so good, but they're always out of stock online. So out of 10, I feel like I'm gonna give these probably Lululemon in general, I'm going to give them an 8, maybe an 8.5. You see, the hard thing is, is that I love the aligned tops, but the leggings just don't, they just don't work for me. So that's where they're losing the points. It is also the price. I feel like the price compared to the other pieces in this review, that is why I'm leaning more towards like an 8, 8.5 for them. I definitely think they're on par with Colourful Koala and Gilly Hicks. So that is why I'm giving them an 8.5. Okay, guys, I've saved the best until last. If you follow me over on Instagram, you will know that I non-stop rave about Honor Active. I don't know what Chrissy Chella puts into this active wear, but it is so good. It is genuinely the best active wear that I have ever tried. Nothing compares to this active wear, especially for the gym. Like this is just perfect for the gym, for squatting, for cardio. I feel I feel like the range of colours that Honor Active offer as well is so much more than a lot of different activewear brands. So I feel like there is a colour for everybody. In fact, I think that that is what they stand for. I'm sure I've seen Chrissy Chella talking about how she wants to have a full colour scheme that works for every skin tone. And I really think that is what she's done. So to put it into perspective, I think this is obvious that this one is my favourite. I have four full sets from them. And honestly, if I didn't stop myself, I would have so many more. The majority of the Honor Active pieces that I've got are from the Effortless range. I find that the Effortless range is the most 
flattering for my body shape and I just find it's the most comfortable for me as well. With the effortless range I really love how the sports bras can be worn like this or if you just clip it onto the back they can be worn like a crisscross strap. Honestly guys I wear these for cardio, I wear them for lifting, I wear them for basically any gym session. I know that these are so supportive but yeah I have the effortless sports bras in midnight blue and then also white. I feel like a white sports bra is just a complete necessity. I literally have bought three of the exact same shorts in three different colours because these shorts just fit so good. The only thing I will say about these shorts is that I found that they do sort of differ from different colours. So I'll just show you for reference. They have like a thick waistband at the top and then sort of like a scrunch bum detail at the back. So on the first pair that I bought, the logo is actually sort of transferred onto the material. I don't know how well you can see there, but it is kind of coming off a little bit. And I think that is just due to me wearing them quite a lot and washing them quite a lot. But to be honest, it's not as bad as some brands that I've had before. But they obviously took this into account from feedback and they have now knitted the logo into the shorts, which I think is a really nice touch because you just know that it is better quality and that logo isn't going anywhere. I also have the effortless leggings in coal. Now, I love the coal colour so much and I just thought it's such a staple colour. It goes with so many different sports bras that I needed to pick the leggings up as well. And I got these ones in the regular length, I believe. I did try the tall length and the regular length to compare and I actually found the regular length to be much better. I tend to wear these on upper body days just because I don't like squatting leggings as much. But yeah, I really love these. And if you're looking for a new pair of gym leggings, I definitely recommend these ones. Okay, so those pieces were all from the Effortless range. And these two are actually from the Timeless range. This is the Timeless Strappy Sports Bra. Now this can be worn in a few different ways. My favourite way to wear this is with the crisscross back. The straps just unclip at the bottom and you can wear this just as a normal sports bra with the strap down there. Or I think you can actually wear them whole to neck as well. Um, so yeah, I really like the versatility of this sports bra. The only downside I would say to this sports bra is that... The fabric of the Timeless collection is not as nice as the fabric from the Effortless one. It's not that it's not as nice, but I would say that it kind of wears a bit quicker. The reason I say that is because I often wear it in the car on the way to the gym and the seat belt has kind of rubbed the material a little bit. So I'll try to show you a close up, but it's just around this sort of area. So lastly, this is the Ripe Fig Timeless Vest Top. So you can get their Timeless Vest Tops in a three quarter length and then a full length. This is the full length one. I just feel like this top is such a nice option when you want to feel more covered up. It's got so much support because it's got a built in bra and it's also not too revealing. And I just really love this back detailing as well. What I said about the material of the Timeless collection, it doesn't seem to have happened with this top. So I don't know if that's just like a faulty sports bra maybe and it actually doesn't rub up a lot of the time potentially but I feel like this one I haven't had any issues with so when rating honor actives activewear genuinely it's gonna have to be a 9.5 or a 10 honestly the activewear from there is just unreal I love what the brand stands for I feel like maybe I'm more of a fan of the brand because I actually did Chrissy Chella's Evolve You Challenge and bought the app for a year and that really built my confidence up in the gym so I feel like maybe that's why I'm leaning more towards giving that a higher score. Yeah, I feel like I'm just going to give it a 10. Why not? And nothing's beat it so far. When it comes to price as well, Honor Active is definitely not the cheapest active wear. For the price that you pay for Honor Active, you do get the quality. So yeah, if you're after any new active wear, hopefully this video has given Given you a lot of advice and it's given you a good idea where to start and what sort of brands to go for depending on your needs and your wants and sort of what you're going to be using the app to wear for. Let me know any video suggestions in the comments below. If you made it to the end, thank you very much. I really appreciate it and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!